Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about the sprinkler irrigation system. There are so many methods of irrigation system. One is your surface irrigation system. Second one is sprinkler irrigation system. Irrigation system. So the surface irrigation system having low application of efficiency. Whereas sprinkler irrigation little bit higher than your surface irrigation system. And your drip irrigation is the maximum application efficiency of your water where we require the high application efficiency and water scarcity is a problem in this condition we will use the micro irrigation system such as your sprinkler and drip irrigation system in this session we will discuss about the sprinkler irrigation system the sprinkler irrigation system is defined as the flow of water from nozzle in the form of a jet under the high pressure which breaks the water into a small drop plates as shown in this picture Okay, and which falls on your growing plants like your rain or raindrop. This system is called this type of application of water to the plant is called your sprinkler irrigation system. So the water is coming from this nozzle under the high pressure and falling a crop. This is a small nozzle. The water is coming under the high pressure. So the maximum pressure is required to come the water from this nozzle. So let us see the advantages of sprinkler irrigation system. The higher irrigation efficiency that is 75 to 85 percent and the uniform depth of water can be applied over the entire field so there is no uneven distribution of the water from this field as result the higher application efficiency and the conveyance losses are minimized because in the surface irrigation system we we need to separate water carrying from the higher and lower elevation or from the source to field so in this condition there is chances of the seepage evaporation losses or so there is a higher conveyance losses but in this system there is a low conveyance loss are very minimized are very minimum and this type of systems are well suitable for a sandy soil which has a high infiltration rate and these systems applicable where the light application or low application water is required and these systems are most are well suited for the steep slope or undulated irregular topographic areas and where the soil erosion problems is there and this type of systems are more suitable for the close growing crops and where frequently and light application of the water is required and from this system the automation is possible means that we will use the soluble fertilizers herbicides through your application of water from the sprinkler system and this system will protect the crop from your higher temperatures and this system required less maintenance less labor cost or where is we will apply the water on your only the where crop is a crop is there so in this condition the weed control also be possible as a result the disease also reduced and area loss due to the construction of burns or small water canal carrying canals so this all type of structures is reduced in this system because we are using only the pipe systems and this type of system is does not require any leveling Okay, we can use in the undulating system also. So this as a result, the application of the, your water or chemicals is possible. So the yield and quality also increase. Our output of your crop will increase. So these are the major advantages of your sprinkler irrigation system. And major limitation of this system is uneven distribution of water under the wind condition. Where the water will come, a water will fall in the form of raindrop. So when the high wind is there, so this raindrop disturb. So in this condition, the overlap may be chances are there. And water will comes from this nozzle as shown in this picture. So here the fresh water, clean water is required. Otherwise, if you have sandy or any debris, so as a result, the nozzle will may clog. So the efficiency of this nozzle or sprinkler will reduce. And this system is not suitable for the where the fine texture soil like your clay soil where the low infiltration rate is there so that is example of a clay soil so in this condition the sprinkler system is not suitable but well suitable for only sandy soil and this system is also not suitable for the rice jute crop as i told you this system is operated under the high pressure so that is your 0 0.5 to 10 kg per centimeter square required or we need the high capacity of the pumping system is or pump motor is required to generate the this much pressure and ripening of soft 
fruits must be protected by your spray the water is flowing from your nozzle in the form of droplets so these droplets are not proper size are not like fine drop as shown in this picture droplet may be increases this will fall on your fruits or small flowers of your crops in this condition the flower or fruits may be damaged or it will fall due to the higher pressure of your droplets so that should be protected the evaporation losses are high when the operator under the high pressure that means the water will comes from the nozzle in the form of droplets so due to the very fine droplets the water will automatically evaporate in the atmosphere free water on the crop result growing fungi bacteria and it leads to multiple diseases so water will directly fall on your plants or leaf of your plants so as a result this standing of your water on the plant results the fungi growth bacteria or any other diseases may be occurs so the high initial cost compared to your surface irrigation system and this system is required the maintenance little management and we need to frequently clean the system to avoid the clogging and there is salt accumulation chances near the root zone of your crop 